Hey, good morning. Today we're tying a caddis imitation fly. I like to call the nasty caddis. It is a little difficult to get pretty on film. That's why I haven't done it yet. I've actually been tying this for a while. And when I fish it, I don't care how buggy it looks. But if I don't make it at least halfway attractive on film, nobody's going to like it. So, here's the caddis. Basically, it has some calf body hair from a calf tail here, hackle, and CDC. What I have in the vise is a Risen Fly Fishing Barbless size 14 dry fly hook. And the thread I'm using is Danville 780 there. Then start the thread on. Wrap it back toward the bend of the hook, cutting away your tag end along the way. Take it all the way back to about the top of the bend of the hook. First you're going to tie in two pieces of CDC. Make sure they're just a little bit longer. You're going to tie them in together from the butt end section of the feather. Wrap that back just a little bit. Place it right up against the side of the hook. Give it two wraps. And pull your feather back through the thread about as far as you can without all the CDC fibers coming out on you and wrap back forward to about three eye lengths behind the eye. Take your half pliers, grasp both ends of the CDC together, twist them about three or four times, and go ahead and wrap forward. Get that first wrap just a little better there. thick that first wrap. Let me twist it just a little bit more. There we go. That yeah, looks better. All right, wrap it up. Two. Right where you parked your thread. Tie it off. Cut away your excess CDC. Give it a couple more little wraps here. Okay. Now, what you want to do is take this stuff in the front here, trim that away. Because what that's going to do, that's going to crowd your eye. You don't want that happening. Okay, next material we're going to add is this calf body hair. What I did, I put it in a stacker, took a little pinch, not too much, you don't want a big fat one. If you have too much in your stacker, you need to thin it out. Make sure you get a good stacking on it. It's a little more difficult to stack this than it is here there. When I pull it out, I like to have it angled down a little bit like that because if you angle it this way, it kind of slips out. So. Pull it out. <clears throat> Go ahead and try to thin it out just a little bit. It's actually about the right amount of hair that I want. So when you tie it in, you want the wing to extend just past the bend of the hook. Lining it up, grasping it firmly. Give it a few wraps. Pull it up, wrap in front of it a little bit. 
Now you're going to trim this off at an angle. Hair's pretty fine, so it's kind of messy at times, but finish tied it in. Make sure you have it all tied in. Does it have to be perfect because now we're going to cover it up. Bring this thread back to the base of the wing. <clears throat> now we're going to tie in a hackle feather. Hackle feather I chose is it's actually a barred ginger. But you're not going to be able to see the barred ginger on this fly because at the bottom of it it's not so barred and I'm not going to waste bottom part of it so a nice brown hackle is gonna look good just as good as the bark so when you get to here you're gonna have like a little different looking fly but bottoms will be nice <clears throat> so I want this hackle to be wrapped with the doll side forward so I'm gonna tie it in toward me with the doll side toward me just lay it right up against the side of your fly give it a couple wraps Wrap it forward, cut away your stem, bring your thread back to the base of your wing, and now we're going to tie in some CDC hackle, or not hackle, CDC dubbin. I put three of the smaller CDC feathers together, clipped them in my clip, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut away at the very base of the stem, tra trapping all the CDC in my little uh, clip there. So while you're doing that, you're letting your thread unwind a little bit. And go ahead, just right along the base don't throw away these feathers that you're trimming off because now you're going to have the other side for your next fly there you go. I'm going to pull out a couple of these here to make it a little easier with my tweezers Now as my thread unraveled, I'm going to take my small bucket and split my thread. All I want to do is basically flatten it out a little bit and then lay it right on my finger there. And if my aim is right, I'll get a split. I don't do this very often, so actually <laughs> Pretty glad I got it on the first try. Go ahead and lay your CDC right into your split thread. Release it from your finger. Release your CDC from your clip. Spin it up. Let it spin a few times. You don't necessarily need it very tight, but you do want it to be secure in there. And wrap your thread around the head of your fly toward the eye. Just stroke them back the CDC a little bit each time without sticking yourself with the point of the hook like I'm doing here. Okay, here you go. Go ahead, park your thread. Grab your hackle. Oops, Peter's doing something over there. 
grab your hackle and go ahead and wrap it up forward through the CDC about four or five times. Let me give it one more. That looks pretty good there. You don't want to crowd that eye the hook, so you kind of got to be careful. Two, three, let me give it one more wrap. Reach in there with this seam ripper. I stole my wife's a while back. She took it back. She ordered me another one. So now I got a brand new one, nice and sharp. Cuts right out of there. Take your half inch tool. half inches don't push too far back against the hackle you don't want to be falling back you just want to get it right on the other side of the eye oh and I broke it hmm, that's the coffee maker but I think I broke it just in time now we're going to take a little Sally Hansen's that's how Sally Hansen's is uh Get a little hard on me. I gotta get have to get a new bottle. I accidentally left it open a couple times, so that'll happen. Just a little dab to secure that thread right around the eye of the hook, and there you go. Okay, now. What I don't like is the extra, extra long ones. Little CDC was popping out there. But I do like it looking like this. Okay, there you go. You have a rather buggy looking caddis fly that is very effective. I have a, had a lot of success with this in the past I have a tied it on film because it doesn't really tie very well on film it actually looks rather buggy but sometimes bugginess catches fish actually a lot of times it does all right hope you like this fly hope you uh, like my, my videos if you do give me a like give me a subscribe and go fishing let me know what you catch with it I would like to see uh, good comments about you being successful out there and stay safe I'll see you next time and uh, thanks for watching